Father David Fisher. I'm professor at St. Charles Seminary in Philadelphia. Our reading today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. The next day, John the Baptist was there again with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he had said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, meaning Peter. Our Lord selected Peter for the ministry of feeding and tending the lambs and sheep. This, of course, meant ministering to the people of God, the church. This ministry of being a shepherd would entail the total change of his life, a change that would ultimately involve giving witness to the truth in the imitation of Christ by handing his life over in martyrdom. It's interesting that when Jesus calls his apostles, he calls them to a radical change of lifestyle, to be the shepherds of the flock. He does not ask them, are you wise or scholarly or brave or rich? But he asked, for example, Peter, do you love me? And Peter answered all three times without hesitation, yes, your Lord, you know that I love you. Our Lord called the 12 apostles, and he also calls us. He calls us who believe in him to be his disciples. Jesus did not ask us what our IQ is, how much money we have, or what year of school did we finish, or what address do we live at? He simply asks us, do you love me? And if our answer is yes, then the journey is his. Let us pray. Almighty and Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings of each day. During this pandemic, we ask you to bless those who are sick, those who mourn those who have passed away, and to especially keep safe those who care for the sick in the medical professions. And we ask this always in union with our Holy Mother of God and all the saints through Christ our Lord. And may the Lord be with you and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.